Did you know that the stunning archipelago of Palau known for its crystal clear water and lush landscapes was historically linked to the Philippines? Yep. You heard that right. While today we might see them as two distinct countries, the historical ties are truly fascinating. Welcome back to our channel where we explore mind-blowing facts and intriguing stories from around the world. Today, we're diving into a topic that might just change your perception of geography and history. Buckle up, because we're about to unravel this astonishing connection between Palau and the Philippines that spans both time and culture. Back in the 16th century, Palau was part of the larger Spanish East Indies which included the Philippines. The world of anthropology buzzes with theories that suggest Palau was populated by natives from the Philippines thousands of years ago. The tantalizing possibility of this shared ancestry lends credence to the linguistic similarities that still echo through the present day. Yet, the story gets even more fascinating when we delve into Palau's historical journey. Picture this. As the Spaniards colonized the Philippines archipelago they extended their influence to embrace Palau. This historical overlap gives rise to intriguing questions about the interconnectedness of these two regions. Some skeptics might raise their eyebrows drawing parallels between this connection and the nation that the Philippines was part of Mexico due to Spanish colonization. An astute argument, no doubt. However, a deeper dive reveals a series of events that lend credence to Palau's ties with the Philippines. The year 1898 marks a pivotal moment. The Malolos Congress took matters into their own hands by appointing individuals to these positions. This strategic move not only asserted their legitimacy but also reinforced their territorial claims over the Spanish East Indies. Throughout history, the resilient native Palauans have endured the rule of foreign powers without any voice or influence. As a result, they developed a sense of detachment towards the external political affairs concerning their beloved island. Following the end of World War II, the United Nations sanctioned trusteeship provided an opportunity for them to finally voice their political stance and establish a united representative body. However, it is disheartening to note that they remained under foreign American rule despite these developments. Now, that's a statement that redefines history. A map from 1857 further amplifies the narrative, showcasing Palau, Isles Palaus, as a Spanish territory to the Pacific. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. Guam and Micronesia are referred to as Guahan and Carolinas respectively also appear on this historical map, unveiling a tapestry of Spanish administration. This map showcases the Philippines as seen through the Spanish lens, which again earning a notable mention as the capital and residence of the governor of this archipelago, a dependency of the Captain General of the Philippines. This perspective provides a glimpse into how Spain viewed and governed the Philippines and its surrounding region. The insight of Manuel Quezon III, a historian, and a great-grandson of late President Manuel L. Quezon shed light on this complex narrative. The Spanish East Indies, spanning from 1574 to 1899 consisted of Palau, the Philippines, the Marianas, and the Carolines. These territories were under Manila's rule, positioning the Philippines as Spain's crowning jewels in the Pacific. But the question lingers, was Palau truly once part of the Philippines? As the Malolos Congress convened, Palau was recognized as a constituent member, participating with voting rights. This inclusion sparked curiosity. Why was Palau included while other Pacific territories like the Marianas and Guam were left out? The pieces start to fall into place. Palau was an integral part of the Philippines during this epoch. The Malolos Constitution marked the birth of Asia's first republic and Palau's role was as the constitution itself. But as history pendulum swung, Palau's connections to the Philippines began to unravel. In 1899 Spain's decision to sell Palau to Germany reshaped its destiny, folding it into the Carolines. World War I witnessed Palau's transition to Japanese administration which persisted until the onset of World War II. The tide tumbled as the United States captured Palau. And in 1947, 
it became part of the trust territory of the Pacific Islands overseen by the United Nations. In 1979 ushered in a turning point, four members of the trust territory formed the Federated States of Micronesia while Palau opted for separate independence. This decision resonated deeply with the Philippines, a testament to the profound relations they shared. This connection paved the way for centuries of cultural exchange, trade, and interaction between the two regions. From culinary delights like adobo and sinagong to the shared love for fiestas and traditional music, Palau and the Philippines continue to celebrate their intertwined heritage. Can you imagine the incredible stories and experiences that must have been shared between these island communities? Let's fast forward to more recent times. Palau and the Philippines have maintained diplomatic relations since Palau's independence in 1994. This strong bond has resulted in collaboration in various fields from trade and tourism to education and environmental conservation. It's amazing how these historical ties have evolved into a modern partnership that benefits both nations. Okay, let's switch gears for a moment and talk about the sheer natural beauty of Palau. Pristine beaches, vibrant coral reefs, and lush jungles. It's a paradise that seems almost too perfect to be real. Whether you're a nature lover, an adventurer, or someone seeking serenity, Palau offers an unforgettable experience that's truly unique. But Palau isn't just about its breathtaking landscape. The culture here is as vibrant as the coral reefs that surround it with a blend of indigenous traditions and international influences. Palauan culture is a living instrument of the power of diversity. From their captivating dance performances to their traditional arts and crafts, you'll find a world of wonder in every corner of the island nation. Now, let's dive into the numbers, into the heart of this intertwined relationship. Currently, more than 5,000 Filipino workers call Palau home. It's astounding to realize that 60% of all foreign workers in Palau hail from the Philippines. These hard-working individuals make up a staggering 20% of Palau's total population. It's a testament to how these nations' destinies have interwined through the currents of time. The synergy doesn't stop there. Palau's medical referral program spanning two decades has been sending 100 to 150 patients each year to the Philippines for medical treatment. Just think about the lives transformed, the connection made, and the bonds forged between these two countries through this initiative alone. But the story isn't one-sided. Palauans also flock to the Philippines for education. College and universities become avenues for higher learning, nurturing future leaders with diverse cultural backgrounds. This exchange of knowledge and ideas shapes not just individuals, but the future of both nations. Palau and the Philippines are not only actively engaged in numerous regional and international organizations, but they also play an integral role in driving cooperation and development in specific areas. These organizations provide platforms for both countries to collaborate with other nations, exchange knowledge, and collectively work towards achieving common goals. Through their participation, these two nations contribute significantly to fostering global partnerships for progress. For example, both countries are members of the United Nations, and they engage in global discussions on issues such as climate change, human rights, and international peace and security. And here's a cool twist. Palau and the Philippines have also become travel buddies. Many tourists who explore the Philippines find themselves hopping over to Palau to experience its distinct charms. It's like getting to two incredible destinations in one unforgettable trip. So, if you're planning your next adventure, consider adding Palau to your list. And that my fellow knowledge seekers bring us to the crescendo of our journey. Who would have thought that beneath the surface of the waves and the sands of Palau lies a history so awe-inspiring? If you've had your mind blown as much as we have, show us some love with a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave us your comment in the comment section box below. Make sure to share this video with others as hungry for discovery as you are. Thanks for watching and take care of one another.